What's up Team Hawk House? Today, we're gonna break down how to do a toe side spray on your snowboard, which is super sick. And one of the trickiest kind of like, it took me forever to figure out how to do this trick. Now, I was doing 360s, I, I think I even landed a 540 before I even knew how to do this. So let's cover it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, here it is. All right, so let's get right into it. So. So obviously you gotta be able to do S turns to be able to do this spray. And the trick is you're gonna be taking a really hardcore toe edge into the spray. You really wanna get your snowboard dug into the snow. You're not gonna get a good spray if you're just kind of barely like sliding on the snow. You need to be carving. So you're trying to get your edge of your, your toe edge like an inch into the snow. And so right here I'm carving. So now I'm initiating that toe edge. So like. I'm really in there. If you see my knees are really bent, I'm digging that toe edge in, okay? So we're holding that toe edge. Okay, now I wanna spray. So I'm gonna start closing my knee. So my upper body staying in position. So this is an upper body, lower body separation. So I'm closing my knee and starting to turn my board to go 90 degrees, but my upper body is still looking down the fall line. So my upper body is looking down the fall line, closing that knee. Now at this point right here, I'm gonna be applying pressure on my toe side, my, my back foot toe side edge. I'm, I'm pushing extra hard, harder than I would normally do. And push, and then once I'm at 90, I'm gonna push really hard with both feet. But if you can look at the snowboard right now, it's dug in pretty good. Look at all that snow that's sitting there. It's ready, it's all collected. I got it all there. And now it's ready to exp explode. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good push Boom, so, so there's that push. But if you notice, look at my knees are still bent. It's more of a, like, see how my whole body pushes down, but it doesn't move, you know what I'm saying? So like I'm still in a stacked position, I still am in control, but I take my whole body and I'm just kind of uh, more on that toes, almost like if you're about to jump. Like, and then <clears throat> explodes out. And then we make this huge cloud and then we ride through it like an explosion. How cool is that? So let's go to another one and see if we can explain this more. Right, so here we go. So this one's more of, I did it last second. I don't have a lot of speed right now. So I'm on my toe side edge. I didn't have a lot of speed, so I needed to compensate for not having the speed or the pitch. If you look, it's a really flat area. So I'm putting my hand down for some extra balance, closing that knee. My head is still looking down the fall line. And now look at this edge, edge in. So like my edge is in, it's in. My edge is probably two inches deep right now on this spray. So I dug my edge in really hard and now I'm applying that pressure right there. Creates huge spray. And look at the, how big those snow chunks are. So once again, I, I put my hand down because I was on not a, a big pitch area and I had a little slower speed, but I was able to really put some oomph into that that pressure. So we're at 90 degrees right now. And then we're gonna push and it's gonna explode snow. So let's go to a, I'm gonna zoom in a bit. So this is a downward shot of it. So I'm on my toe edge. It's already starting to spray. And this one, I don't get totally 90. I kind of scrape this one. So for these, same concept, you're on that toe side edge and you're building that snow. And it's that, pressure you apply, I would say from your back foot, really comes from back there, because you're closing and doing the turn with your front knee, and your back foot is just pushing that pressure, just causing it to It's the noise it makes too. So, but the reason I wanted to show this shot, so now I'm at 90 right here, getting that nice spray, my upper body still looking down the fall line. I'm not facing upwards. If you're facing upwards, you can still get the spray, but you can't ride out of it. You're gonna stop completely. So by keeping your upper body down, now all I have to do to get out of this spray is I'm going to like compress my body, get lower. So here I go, I'm gonna compress. See, I squat down and then I, I just take that toe side that's super deep and I start to come out of it. And then I squat out and then boop, transition to a heel side turn, boom. So this is one more look and this is more of an advanced version 
of the spray because my filmer's on the right side of me. So I'm not spraying down the fall line this time, I'm gonna spray towards him, so I'm spraying sideways. So what I have to do to in, in order to decide where I want that spray to go, is I gotta do an even harder toe side turn, almost like a full horseshoe or U-turn. So I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna go hard toe side, and then I'm gonna start the spray completely, almost like 180 from where I was. So, and that's all in that toe side. So I'm a hardcore toe, but at this point right here, look where my body's, my upper body is facing where I want that spray to go. So if I was facing down the mountain, that's where I would be pushing it. But now I'm facing at the filmer who's just on the side of me. We get 90 degrees and it's the same body motion. The the back foot swings on that toe side turn. We close that front knee. See right now the snowboard is dug in super deep in the snow and we're just collecting it all, collecting it all. And then we just release it. That transition though, oh. So this is a really fun trick. And like I said, this took me a while to figure out. So make sure when you're doing it, that it, you're riding in on a toe side edge, like a good deep carve. You know, I mean, to keep your upper body down, lower body, upper body separation, load the snow, and then push down a little bit, a little bit of, uh, and just release it. <laughs> Sprays up in the air. Riding out of it, we're going to squat down, get start transitioning out of that toe side, and we can ride through all boss-like. I hope this video helped, and I, I hope you enjoyed it. What else do you want me to cover or break down? I'm thinking like a nose butter 360 for the next one of these video breakdowns. And these are like kind of how to's, but they're more breakdowns. They're kind of like me trying to explain what's going on and I hope I'm doing a good job. Let me know if this video helped you in the comments down below. Also, what do you want me to break down next? Down, like comment that down below. But also check out my how to snowboard playlist. I have like literally like breakdowns on how to do certain tricks. These are, essentially the same thing, but I'm just not on the mountain. But my goal here is to help you become the best snowboarders possible. So make sure you subscribe to my channel because we're bringing you daily content and we'll be snowboarding this weekend. Got a secret, huge things coming up guys. I'm really excited for you guys and I'm gonna wait to share it with you, but we're snowboarding this weekend and it's the start of season five. So get ready for season five. Also smash like, it does help the algorithm let more people see this video. If more people see this video, hopefully they can get better at snowboarding. The more people that are better at snowboarding, the better the industry, better everything. We want everyone to win and succeed. So make sure you subscribe, share, like, all that stuff. Right now we're dropping a bunch of new sick merch too. So make sure you check out the Evolution Store. We got the Colorado shirts as well as stickers, the new logo hat. We also have the full Evolution hat with literally so much and stickers, so many new stickers available. So check out all the merch guys. Anything you do snag allows me to do sick snowboard trips as well as just bring you content for a living. So thank you to, so much to everyone who supports the dream. So many of you guys do. And other than that guys, we're down Colorado Springs for my, my son's birthday. He's turning three tomorrow which is mind-blowing so shout out to my son he's super awesome and he'll be shredding it this season cannot wait and with that team cast thank you so much for shredding with us today and as always thanks for watching keep evolving we'll see you guys tomorrow i'm on top of the ocean living like life ain't frozen feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion yeah Mama told me I'ma be somebody I ain't never gon' need nobody, no, no I ain't never gon' need nobody No cliffhanger, yes I so do Banger, I'm the new